In this video, we're going to look at some myofascial exercises to help with shoulder pain. The shoulder is quite a remarkable joint in that it allows full 360 degree range of movement of your arm. The reason it can do this is because of the way it's constructed and the bones are supported by a lot of soft tissues, so muscles, fascia, tendons and ligaments. In fact, there are 17 muscles that support the shoulder joint. So this means, although it's got lots of movement potential, it's also got lots of potential for injury. And lots of people suffer from different types of shoulder injuries. So for example, people can have rotator cuff injuries. So the rotator cuff are a group of muscles that in particular, allow for rotational movement of the arm. So it could be rotating out or in or up to the side. And in particular, your rotator cuff muscles are used when doing anything overhead. So it can be sports like tennis or swimming. It can be lots of activities. It could be DIY or it can be people's jobs. So whatever it is, sometimes overuse or overstraining the muscles can create restrictions which then prevent the shoulder from moving freely. Another common type of injury is frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis, which is a medical term. So in a frozen shoulder, it, what can happen is that the tissues inside the joint can become adhesed or stuck together. When this happens, it can take a couple of years for the frozen shoulder to go through a whole phase of freezing and then thawing again. And sometimes medically, surgical intervention is required. However, for lots of people who have a diagnosis of frozen shoulder, that this is not actually what the problem is. The problem is actually in the soft tissues outside of the joint capsule that have become restricted or damaged and are causing pain. So typically anybody with shoulder injuries has difficulty lifting or moving or using their arm. The pain can be quite sharp, it can be felt in and around the shoulder joint, sometimes it can radiate up into your neck, down into your chest, down your arm. So in this video we're going to look at some exercises that can help to undo some of the restrictions that may be contributing to your shoulder pain. I'm going to use these as myofascial exercises, which means that we do them slowly and progressively, allowing time for the tissues to release and let go. In this exercise, we're going to do a finger crawl up the wall. So placing your hand on the wall and just allow your hand and your arm to relax. So the wall is taking the weight of your arm. And from here, you can then start to just slowly crawl your fingers up the wall and back down again, and maybe to the side. And so doing this within a pain-free range of movement, which is your pain-free range of movement, can help to encourage some movement in your shoulder without you having to actually bear the weight of your arm. So this is a nice exercise to start getting some mobility back into your shoulder. So in this exercise, we're going to do an arm dangle. This is really good for anybody who has a lot of restriction in their shoulder and finds it difficult to move. So just resting one hand on a flat surface, you're just going to allow the other arm just to dangle. So imagining from your shoulder right down to your hand and your fingers that everything is relaxing and allowing your shoulder to drop down. So it's almost as if your arm is coming out of the shoulder socket. And once you actually get that sense of heaviness and relaxation, you can then start to gently move your arm. So you can swing it backwards and forwards like this in a pendulum movement. You can swing it side to side in another pendulum type of movement. Or you can go around in little circles in either direction. 
And the important thing when you do this exercise is to do it within your pain-free range of movement. So it may be that when you first start doing this, there's very little movement you can do without there being pain. But as you do this regularly, you'll start to feel a sense of some movement and loosening in the tissues. And doing this maybe for a couple of minutes, once or twice a day, together with the finger crawl can be a good way of starting to help your shoulder if you currently have a lot of pain. In this exercise, we're going to use a myofascial ball on the top of the shoulder, up here. So this area can get very tight and it can cause restrictions, in particular restrictions with lifting your arm up to the side. And so if you have painful movement here, then this is a good area to work on. And you can use either a big inflatable ball like this one or a small trigger point ball like this one. I'm going to start by using this big ball. So you just want to feel and find the top of your shoulder and place the ball as high up as you can and still have pressure on the ball. And you're just going to lean back on the ball and just allow the tissues to start to release and let go. With my fascial exercises, it takes at least a couple of minutes for the fascia to start to release. And because the fascia wraps round and through everything else, including the muscles, it's usually fascial restrictions that are causing a lot of the pain that you feel in the muscles and tissues of your shoulder. So by working here, you can start to release these restrictions and you may feel some pain or other sensations while you're here, that's fine. That just means that you're on a trigger point, which is a knot or a fascial restriction. So doing this for a couple of minutes allows time for tissues to let go. And then you can try the same thing on the other side. In this exercise, we're going to work on the muscles here at the top of your shoulder. So in particular, there's one muscle here called the deltoid, which sits like a little cap on top of your shoulder. And so it can help with lifting your shoulder up, but also moving your arm forwards and moving your arm back. And quite often it's the deltoid that can get restricted and tight, and that can contribute to shoulder restrictions and problems. So using a myofascial ball, we're going to just lean against the wall. So I've got it placed on the middle of my deltoid and I'm just going to lean in. So the benefit of doing any exercises against a wall is the fact that you can vary the amount of pressure so that it's comfortable for you. And so while you're here, just waiting for a sense of the tissues beginning to soften and release and let go. So as long as you're here for at least a couple of minutes, the fascia will be starting to release. You can be here for longer if you want, but two minutes initially is a good timing to aim for. And as you start to feel the tissues releasing, you can very slowly rotate yourself around the ball. So now I'm coming around to work on the back of the deltoid muscle. And again, if there's any tender spots that I feel, I can just wait on them and allow time for these to start to release and let go. And then coming back to the midpoint, and then I can roll around towards the front of the deltoid. Again, just waiting for any areas that feel tight or sore and allowing time for these to release and let go. And then you can do this on the other side. In this exercise, we're going to work on the side of the armpit. So this is this area here. If you feel along here, you will feel the side of your shoulder blade, and that's where you're aiming for. The reason that this is a good area to work on is that there are lots of muscles here that attach into the shoulder blade, and they help with the movement of the shoulder. 
And when they become restricted, then that restricts your shoulder movement. So to work here, I'm going to place the ball on the side of my armpit and let it lie on the floor, on the ball. So when you're here, it's a good idea to use a pillow so that you are comfortable and just allow time for the tissues to start to release and let go. So as with everything myofascial, as long as you're here for at least a couple of minutes, then the fascia will be starting to release and let go. If you have shoulder issues, you may find that this is quite tender here. And that's okay. You're just allowing and noticing those tender points and allowing them to let go. If you find it's too uncomfortable to lie like this with your arm raised up, then you can also do this exercise lying on your back, which I'll show you now. If you find it too difficult or painful to do this exercise lying on the floor, then you can also do this by leaning against a wall. So placing the ball on the edge of your armpit and then just lean your body in and vary your body weight so that it remains comfortable while the fascia starts to release. Visit our website to find out more about self-help myofascial release or to get one of our kits. Or you can visit our YouTube channel where there are lots more videos like this.